Hey everyone, this is Martin from How To Make Mobile Games. This past two days I've been working on something which should generate more downloads and it's something that I've not really taken much notice of before, especially in Google Play. Uh, but that is the device compatibility section or uh, planning when it comes to like releasing games and releasing applications. Now, uh, just to explain what, it, what device compatibility means, a lot of you probably already know, uh, but it's when your game or application can run on particular devices or can't run on other devices, okay? So I got an email from um, one of the players and they said, hey, I can't download your game on the uh, Nook, on the, the Nook App Store, or they can't go onto Google Play and find my application. I also noticed on the Kindle 7, I'm running the Google Play Store on here as well, and I couldn't find our application. So that was a problem, and then I thought, well, I should look more into this. And sort of uh, delving more into this device application, this is part of uh, the, the Google Play, uh, what do we call it, uh, the developer console here. If you go into the APK section and click on the supported devices, what I've found is that for a bunch of our games, a lot of the, a lot of the devices are not supported, and especially with this one. Now, I updated this one yesterday. And it now supports 400, sorry, 4,896 out of the 4,960 possible devices, which is great. But yesterday, before I updated it, we only had 3,800. So we were missing a thousand devices, and a lot of those are Samsung ones as well. Uh, and Samsung is one of the biggest uh, Android mobile phone developer, Android device uh, producer, and therefore we were missing out on a huge opportunity. So. Uh, what if you do, if you click on the unsupported here, you can scroll down, you can see the ones which are not supported. Now, I only updated this yesterday, so I don't know what the figures are going to be like yet in terms of like the extra downloads, but I just checked our chart boost uh, pa panel uh, a couple of hours ago, and it seems like the downloads have already gone higher just from this one change. And this one is not yet available on all tablets, I don't think, so we're going to be updating that and changing it as well. But I encourage everyone to check out this device compatibility section and see if you're supporting enough all of the devices or not. And I'm going to do an update on this video as well just to let you know how much impact this, this recent change had. If you go down to um, your versions here, if you click on the version, you notice you get this version pop-up here which appears when you submit the game and it'll tell you how many devices and uh, if you made any changes, it'll highlight them in yellow from like the previous version. And what we had before is we had the three uh, these screen layouts. We had small, normal, and large before. But uh, you know, also need to include extra large to be featured on tablet devices. Now I do. It does appear if you search on a Kindle, but it might not appear if you search on, say, a 10-inch tablet. Like I think it's the Galaxy Tab 10.1 Mac. That maybe that's 10-inch, or say the Kindle 8.9-inch or something like this. Uh, so it's really important to get as many devices as possible to get more downloads and this is something that I'm just starting to look into more. Also this features section here, uh, in the last version I think we had like five features. Now one of the things is with features is that will also filter out some devices. So for example if it says like audio.hardware.frontcamera then I think what will happen is it won't, you won't be able to find your game on any devices that don't have a front camera on the Google Play Store, they just won't appear. So, and this might be in your Android manifest file, even though your game doesn't need a front camera or your application, it's just been put in there by default, or perhaps you entered it in from like a previous game or something like this. And then also the permissions as well. Now, this is still a little bit too much, and I'm going to speak to the developer to reduce this number of permissions, uh, but this can also affect the number of downloads as well. We recently had feedback from a user, and they said, hey, you've got like way too many permissions and I don't want to install this application because they're worried about, you know, maybe it's hacking some of their, so hacking some of their contacts or their personal data uh, and it's changing the settings and all this. So the number of permissions is, is important to keep low as well. And the other big thing as well is this uh, ARMv6 uh, and ARMv7 architecture support. On Android Series 3, so Android 3.5.7, which is the last one, you could build your game for ARM v6 with VFP. And that's a type of phone architecture, the, the ARM uh, processor architecture. And those are the old ones. If that's supported, then a lot more people can download the game. Like, And I found in Google it's roughly like six or 700 that can be supported. Extra devices if you include ARM v6. 
in Unity 4, you can only support ARM v7, which is this one here, which means that the maximum that I can currently support using Unity 4 is around 4,200 devices on, on Google Play. But if you are not building with Unity, and you have the ability to include both ARM uh, architectures in there, then I think do that. And I'm going to keep researching this subject and let you guys know if, if anything else sort of appears that would be really important. And I'll let you know how this affected our downloads as well on Google Play. Because if I find that all of the this work here, getting more device compatibility, like reaching that maximum every time, increases our downloads by you know three four hundred or whatever it may be then i'll definitely do that with all our games and i'll tell you guys about it as well so check out this panel in google play if you've not done this already at the the second big point that i wanted to mention here as well is i'm trying to figure out right now on app, the amazon app store if our games are available on all devices so the kindle first generation the kindle 2 the third and then the hdx devices i think there's four generations so far I have a feeling that when we update our games recently, I think that maybe it's not being supported by a bunch of devices. Uh, Amazon tells me that they are being supported, and when I go on Amazon.com, I can see the list and it says, hey, uh, you know, like for example, I'll just pop this up for you guys here and you can see, okay, uh, while we're talking about it. But there is a way to check on Amazon to see if your device, your game, your app is compatible with all the devices. So if I go down, apps for Android and I just check in uh, pop the fruit 2 which is this one here I'll add the full name so that it's only our one game that appears okay and then you see on the left hand side here it's got H Fire HD it's got Kindle Fire which is the first one uh, I think that's the first one maybe the HDX which is the new ones previous generation I don't know which it is but you see it's got one 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 next to it which means that it's appearing now this could mean that yeah everyone with the all devices can find pop the fruit but i'm not 100 percent sure so i'm trying to test that out right now and i've been rattling my brain this past uh sort of 24 hours trying to get these kindle emulators working the only reason to get these working for me was just to install the amazon app store on them and then see if i can view uh, pop the fruit and our other games on a kindle device because if i can't then that could be a big reason for like lost downloads, a huge reason, because not everyone is now on the new HD or the new HDX devices on Amazon, uh, the Kindle devices. They could still be on like the first generation, second or whatever. So that's something I'm trying to figure out. And what I wanted to do to everyone on the channel is uh, ask you guys, if you do have a Kindle, whichever one it is, if it's a first, second HDX, the new one, 8.97 inch, please could you do me a favor and see if, Pop the Fruit, this game here, appears, and also Pocket Poker as well, and I'll show you Pocket Poker. Because if I know these two games do not appear on all the devices, then I can figure out how to do that, make them appear on all devices, and then I can post on the channel how to do that. So if anyone else is on the Amazon App Store, if your game isn't compatible or with all devices, then I can do a video about this and explain what I put in the manifest file. So this is the second game, like here, uh, uh, Pocket Poker, and this is the icon. If you just type Pocket Poker, Texas Hold'em, it should appear. If you, do, if you do this and you do see if it does appear, please let me know in the comments and just say, hey, yeah, Martin, I can find the game on a Kindle second generation, or I can find it on my Kindle HDX 8.9, whatever it may be. Um, so please take a look, guys. Please like, do me a favor, and I'll happily do that favor in return on my devices. For Google Play or for the Kindle as well. I, I have a Kindle 7 here that I'm testing on. So if you want me to make sure that it appears on here, drop me an email, uh, sorry, drop me a comment in the uh, in the comments below and then I'll check for you as well. So it's Pocket Poker Texas Hold'em and the other one, like I said before, is Pop the Fruit 2, which is this uh, cute squirrel icon that we've got and he's holding some fruit. I'll show you guys. There you go. So this one here, okay? And that would be an awesome help. Thank you so much to anyone that does that and I'll happily return the favor as well. And once, if I do figure this out, once I get more information about how many downloads were increased on Google Play and how many uh, downloads were increased on the Kindles, for example, if we if we increase the the number of downloads by updating the manifest, and I'll definitely do a video on that because this uh, this could be something that I've missed out on personally with uh with my businesses for like this past few months and i might downloads may have suffered because this is something i've just not 
consciously thought about and maybe maybe i'm the only one maybe because i'm a unity user we don't often look at the manifest file we don't often go through like the android documentation or the kindle fire documentation we just build and deploy and there's our apk and then we upload it and then that's pretty much it so there's a bunch of stuff that i'm reading right now about how to get supported for all these all of these devices um, and we're going to see if that makes a big big difference to downloads and if it does i'm going to definitely tell all you guys so anyway, have a great weekend, everyone. Thanks, you know, big, big thanks to anybody that helps me out and checks if these games are available on any of their Kindle devices, and I'll happily return the favor. Have a good one, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.